Welcome to the online recap of the water cooler for Friday, December the 30th, 2011, our last show of 2011. Can you believe it? I know. Man. <laughs> the year has gone it's been by. Great. It's been It's been a good run for us so far, anyway. So far, yeah. Uh, one, besides some of the local news items of, of uh, that we talked about today, we talked about some of the bigger stories of the calendar year, 2011. It, at least as far as North Alabama is concerned. North Alabama, and in some cases but the world. Mostly the world. Right. Uh, of course, one of the big ones that I think uh, kicked off the year was very early in January, uh, Auburn's National Championship. They had yep. just gotten the, the Heisman Trophy winner, much like the year before when Alabama won it. And then, of course, the beginning of 2011 in January was when Auburn won the national championship in football. And Unfortunately, it was also followed by... Very shortly after that, the poisoning of the trees at Tumor's Corner, mm -hmm. which I think is the bigger story. Because a after the poisoning of the trees, the students in Tuscaloosa raised um, close to $100,000 to help save the trees in Auburn. And I, that started a year of cooperation between right. Auburn and Alabama, which, you know, I think the biggest... Example of that has to be our next big story, which was the tornadoes in April, which included right. the massive F5 in Tuscaloosa and then the following outpouring from Auburn back to Tuscaloosa mm -hmm. with help. Uh, within a day, Auburn had 18 wheelers of food and supplies heading to uh, Tuscaloosa. And I think it put a lot of things in perspective. Like yeah. The Tumors Corner event put, a, put rivalry football in perspective of just how mm -hmm. important that is. And then, of course, the events in April of the, the tornado put... All of that in perspective as well as to what really yes. is more important. And, and the April tornadoes were the start of some of the worst weather and national disasters oh, yeah. uh, this we've ever seen. I mean, um, nationwide. It was, just, it was just a crazy. Worldwide. Right. It's tsunami it's, in Japan, the, the earthquake earthquakes, in yeah. China. It's, it, the drought conditions in Texas. Uh, and, flooding right now in uh, Thailand uh, oh, yeah. where the, hundreds of people are missing. And then 2012 is coming around the corner. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What's that going to <laughs> Uh, we also lost some notable figures this year, and, and I was I was talking about how I don't like to celebrate death, but these three people brought so much pain and destruction mm -hmm. to the world in, in many cases. I really, you know, you, it, it kind of got hard to be it sad about it. it. Yeah, yeah, I can't be sad about it. Uh, of course, they would be uh, Osama bin Laden, uh, Kim Jong Il, not necessarily in order. Of course, Kim Jong Il and uh, Muammar Gaddafi. Yeah, three, three of which were three dictators from power. and terrorists that just. Sometimes all three, but you know both. <laughs> yeah. It's just you know. So, oh, vaya con Dios. <laughs> we'll see what happens. See but one of the big ones that we lost this year that we were kind of sad to see go was Steve Jobs. Yes, yeah, Steve Jobs. Uh, he had been fighting cancer for a while mm -hmm. uh, without ever telling anybody at times. Yep. Uh, but he was responsible for some of the biggest uh, technological. I don't want to say breakthroughs, but but bringing technology to the masses like like it hasn't been done in a long time. Yeah, then like since the television, like maybe. one of these. The iPad, the, the iPad, iPhone, iPhone, the iPod, which kicked it all off. Of course, a few, yeah, a few years back when he when he brought that to the fore. So, believe it or not, he has affected the way we we look at the world. Oh, absolutely, he completely changed the Maybe way. Maybe just the, the world method works. we look at the world. But so, but and yeah. communications. And to me, <laughs> one of the geekier. As long as we're as long about. as we're talking about technology, I think the thing that's gonna that's not a big deal right now, but is going to be a big deal within ten years, is the discovery of the Higgs boson. And uh, if you don't know what the Higgs boson is, it is the smallest piece of matter that can mathematically exist. And we have <laughs> never found it. Uh, and this year, uh, CERN, a big group over in uh, Europe, thinks they found it. They, 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 yeah, they got their, their little super collider out, and they think they have found it. Their little <laughs> super collider, yeah. <laughs> their little super collider. Actually, it's, it's like miles across. It's, it's bigger than the city of Huntsville. Collider. Right. <laughs> it's, it's pretty sizable uh, in Europe, and they, they think they discovered what they've called the God particle because it is the smallest known building block of matter. Yes, and, and I can't even begin to fathom how that's going to change things, but I, it, it is the thing that for 50 years physicists have been looking for, and they think they found it, and if so, it's going to change I have everything. an idea on how it could change things. How? You watch Star Trek? Oh, yeah. The replicators? Replicators. Walk up, ask, tell it what you want, and it replicates it for you. That's, I think that could be what that's Absolutely. The Higgs boson could very well be the building blocks to the first replicators. Because it, you, we'll now be able to start with from the Higgs boson and build what we, we know, want. Yeah, now building building what we want out of it, though. That's, 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 that's a few thing. years away. So, yeah, we Next had an interesting uh, 2011. I guess one of the bigger developments for us, we were doing this show. We've done this show now. This is uh, show 52. Awesome. <laughs> so, folks, have a very safe New Year. Uh, we, we'd love to see you all back here watching us again. Be safe. In the coming year. So just think about that while you're out there. In the meantime, of course, you can watch the Water Cooler every weekday at 11 o'clock on WMJN TV Channel 29 
or you can watch us live streamed at our website, WMJN29.com. As always, we love to have you on our Facebook page. Do a search for The Water Cooler. Look for the TV show, not the water cooler salesman. <laughs> oh, well, you know, can't have everything. And have a very, very happy new year. Be safe. Yep. Don't do anything too crazy. Too crazy. We'll see you next year. Ne see you next year.